Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is week six of my low buy collaboration that I started here on YouTube with me, some fellow YouTubers, and a whole lot of you. So thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to sit down, to pick your baskets, to really have fun with the prompts that I gave you. Attempt at a low buy. Yeah. Attempt at a low buy, let me tell you, did not work. That bathing garden haul you just saw from me, that was four months worth of low buys. Anyway, I have a challenge for everybody this week, and it is loaf week. Loaves. If you guys know loaves, you know it's a big hunk of wax. Sometimes they're super decorated, sometimes they're plain like this, but it's a lot of wax, and since you love, Maybe since you don't love. Maybe it's a scent that you accidentally ordered because you thought it was something different. And now you have a whole lot of it. And you got to melt it or de-stash it or give it away. So, my challenge this week for everybody is to grab their loaves. It can have this much left. It can be a Scentsy brick. This is considered a loaf. Lots of options. VCS, um, Vintage Cheek Scents, Blossom Bars. Lots of different options for you this week. But for me, my challenge is to use up some loaves that I want to push out of my collection. And I did pick some that if I'm A, not a fan of the scent, B, don't get a throw, or C, like, I use it up for some reason, I pulled loaves that I'm not going to chop yet because I'm not 100% sure that I am going to finish them. So, in this basket is my goal of what I want to get through. I have a stack behind me of scents that if I get to them, I get to them. If not, they'll go back in the collection for next time. So without further ado, let's get into it. Things first, I pulled out a Scentsy Brick in Spiced Eggnog. I have so many Scentsy Bricks that I just don't reach for them. And I talk about it all the time. Yes, I am a Scentsy consultant, but Scentsy is very expensive. I'm slowly transitioning my warmers to hot plate warmers, to halogen bulb warmers, to warmers that actually perform for me. Because what I've found, Scentsy Wax does great in Scentsy warmers. Vendor wax sometimes is a hit or miss in Scentsy warmers. When I put vendor wax in my hot plates, oh my god, like that's how they perform. It doesn't perform as well in Scentsy warmers. Some Scentsy warmers, they don't even melt Scentsy wax. But anyway, but when I do Scentsy in Scentsy warmers, it really does perform well for me. So this is a brick from the Christmas collection in Spiced Eggnog. I got this in like Pink Point Setia in the... Um, brick bundle it's okay like everybody was raving about this and that's another thing Scentsy is very limited in their sense so like everybody who is raving about this is like this is such a good eggnog vendor wax has so many better options so much better oils so much more creativity this it smells like nutmeg and like like creamy nutmeg that's all it smells like but I have vendor wax that you can get that custard, you can get the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the cream. You can smell the warmth in the eggnog. So for me, that's where Scentsy falls flat. Their fragrances are very one note. There's not a whole lot of depth to them. So I do want to use this up. It has been super, super cold here like it is a lot of places. So I do know hopefully I can get at least, at least half because I have eight warmers. So I'll do half a cube in each warmer. So four I can get at least four maybe melt it twice and then have one more round but at least at least I want to work through some of that brick all right I'm just gonna breeze through this um, the pharmacist daughter as you know I do not support this vendor I don't get good throw I don't care for the customer service I just want to get it out of my collection I have three cubes in her beans and cream, which is coffee house, marshmallow, sweet and creamy, coconut shortbread cookie. It's okay. Um, to me, it smells just like a bitter coffee. It's not my favorite coffee in the world, but I figured if I do three tea lights one morning getting ready, I'll use that one up. I have French lemon tart, and this one is lemon chiffon, pie crust, French custard, and lemon sugar. 
This is a nice lemon. It's a very creamy lemon. But the more I smell it, I kind of get that pledginess. That, like, that pledge note. Yeah. It's, it's not my favorite lemon. But, so again, let's melt that out of my stash. I have lavender lemonade. I'm planning on melting this in my bathroom, so chances are I probably won't finish this up. It's pink lemonade and lavender. I mean, I smell the lavender. I almost wonder if the holes that they have in their bag are leaching the scent. I'm not sure. But yeah, they're not as strong as when I first got them. This is a custom that I did called Fall Bonfire. I know it's not fall anymore, but it's Cranberry Woods, Marshmallow Fireside, and Palo Santo. I was really excited about this. I don't know. It's, it, I don't smell cranberry woods. It does smell like berry, but it doesn't smell like cranberry woods. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure what oil they used in this one, but not a fan. Um, one of my friends, she felt really bad. She made me a custom from her um, before I stopped supporting them. And this is Drew's love for pumpkin. Pumpkin pecan waffles and pumpkin souffle. I'll probably melt this around my house and like burn a pumpkin pecan waffles candle to like really amp up the pumpkin pecan waffles because it's not super strong. And then I have hole in one, which is zucchini bread, blackberry jam, and jelly donut. I like this scent a lot. I like it a lot. Blackberry jam, zucchini bread, um, jelly donut. It's very, very rich and jammy. You get a little bit of yeastiness from the donut. Yeah, it's a really nice scent, but my friend Kirby at Vintage Chic Scents can make way better zucchini bread. So I'm going to have, uh, um, I'm going to see if I can get a scent like this from her. Speaking of VCS, that was the end of The Pharmacist's Daughter. Um, this is Jackie O's Palo Santo and Chestnuts and Brown Sugar Cupcakes. This was one of her jumbo loaves. She doesn't really offer those much anymore, but... This I used last week in Vendor Week. Oh my god. This is one of the best scents. I honestly, this might be a maybe I'll get to it. I am not going to melt the rest of this until I know she's going to pour more. And this is vanilla bean cake topped with marshmallows, Palo Santo, chestnuts, and brown sugar cupcakes. I think her brown sugar oil is hard to come by right now. This is fantastic. It kind of gives me like vanilla butter fudge vibes because it's so rich and like gooey. But the Palo Santo and the chestnuts, oh my god. This is 10 out of 10 perfection. And then the rest I have are from L3. L3, I do have three Bitty Betty loaves, which if you're unfamiliar, they're like... I don't think it's... A, oh, this is about 5 ounces. This is about 12 ounces. So they're just like little loaves. And I only have three in my collection left. I worked through a lot of them. So I'm hoping to work through even more. This one is Lavender Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. This will be nice at bedtime. I melted... Oh my gosh. Central Park Snow Globe from Kirby yesterday night. Such a good scent for sleep. I'm actually really loving the mint and the lavender for bed. I do love my bakery, but I'm almost wondering, is that why I'm up at night with cravings for cake? Yeah, this is nice. It's a very, like, bedtime bath type of scent, like, because the lavender mixed with the boardwalk marshmallow clouds kind of gives it, like, a, a creamy, soothing, very calming nighttime blend. I have Georgia Peach Raspberry Whip and Don't Cross Streams. And this one... The peach is not my favorite peach. It's almost like way too artificial peach. Raspberry whip though, I do like that and that's like very candied raspberry. Yeah, it, it's okay. Um, a raspberry peach, um, a raspberry peach um, dessert is amazing. Now I've had a raspberry peach cobbler. And this one is Sweet on Paris, Strawberry Pound Cake, Vanilla Birch. I love Strawberry Pound Cake. But the vanilla birch is definitely in the forefront, super strong here. And if you're unfamiliar, vanilla birch is a scent from uh, Bath and Body Works. It's a dupe for them. It's a very like 
woodsy, like sort of smoky, but more like crisp mountain air type. And I get that, so like mixed with strawberry pound cake is interesting. But Sweet on Paris was also a body care scent from Bath and Body Works that's been discontinued for years. I love it. It's a very sweet, creamy candy type of scent. I'm just gonna like rattle through the lows from L3 because I don't think I'm gonna get through them with everything else, but we'll see. I have Fizzy Pop. Plain Old White Elephant Exchange. I really want to use this up because it's just sitting in my collection. Strawberry Jam Fresh Picked Strawberries. I really like this. It's a very... Her Strawberry Jam is one of my favorite strawberry jams. This is White Elephant Exchange Blackberry Lemon Curd. This was from the Pride Collection. It's like a rainbow loaf. Roasted Coffee White Elephant Exchange. I might get through this one this week, honestly, because I do like coffee in the morning and I only have those three pieces of the Pharmacist's Daughter Loaf left. So I feel like I might pull that for mornings. And then the last one is Sweet on Paris Palo Santo Don't Cross Dreams. So this is like a very vanilla bakery, but then the Palo Santo really just, Palo Santo blended with bakery knocks my socks off every single time. But that's it. Just a super short video. I feel like the loaf week videos are shorter because it's a lot of wax and I feel like we're not going to be pulling as much because there is a lot of wax to get through. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're on Instagram doing this, if you're on Facebook, YouTube, definitely leave your channel down below. I want to check out your loaf week video. If you're not participating in loaf week, what are you melting this week? I definitely want to hear your thoughts and I'll talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell in the corner. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video. You matter. I love you all so much and have a good one. Bye guys.